What's up, you guys? My name is Mary, and with High Priestess Intuition, welcome my current subscribers, and welcome, welcome, welcome newbies. If you guys are new to my channel, Corpse, and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a free journal collective reading for Sign Scorpio. This could resonate if you have Scorpio in any aspects of your charts, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Fourth, and Mid Haven, Jupiter charts. It's a free oracle card reading for mid May of 2022 for Sign Scorpio. Thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. Sorry, I was, I was eating lemon zest, um, blueberry lemon zest, cream cheese, and it's very tasty. Um, thanks everybody for all the love and support to the channel. Uh, we're at 12,590 subscribers right now, so thanks so much for all the love and support to the channel. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess 205. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. It's a very private, confidential way to donate. I do not publicly display on the channel. Um, how much you donate if you choose to donate um, through my PayPal for privacy and confidentiality purposes. Spirit messages you have for sign of Gemini. I mean, not Gemini, um, Scorpio. For some, you could be dealing with Gemini, possibly. Oh, whoa. Whoa. One of you guys might be emotional over person, people, place, or situation, or someone may be emotional over you. Cards just flew everywhere. That could signify a you having addictions or someone you're connected to having addictions or you being emotional over person, people, place, or situation or someone being emotional over you, possibly. Okay, so I received some channelings for um, your sign for mid-May of 2022, so I'm going to deliver them. Um, please remember, only take the messages that resonate, leave the rest. One may apply, two plus may apply, none may apply. Please don't force anything if it doesn't fit. But um, the first download I received was um, a Scorpio is waking up to um, the fact that black magic is real. That was the first one. And the second one I heard, a Scorpio is about to see the effects of black magic in the in their 3D reality very, very, very soon. So you plug it in, how that resonates, that resonates for you, Scorpio. So it sounds like one of you guys already knows black magic exists. And one, you did not believe it existed, but you're about to realize it does. Or you just realize it does, how that resonates. So how that resonates in one's life. Ooh. Um, so one of you guys is waking up to the fact that black magic really is re real or you're about to wake up to the fact that black magic is really real, how that resonates and applies in one's life. And for one, you're about to see the effects of black magic, um, the, the manifestation and effects of black magic, it sounds like out in the universe, in your 3D world, your 3D collective, your 3D universe very soon. Um, now, this could be, on, I feel it might be on a situation you're connected to or a person you're connected to, or something of that nature. But um, I don't feel it's going to be on you. It's going to be on someone you're connected to in some shape, form, or fashion, or situation. How that resonates. But some kind of effects you're about to see of light magic manifesting out in the 3D universe uh, for one of you guys. Um, and I think that's the person that believes black magic's real for the for one of you guys. Uh, for one of you guys, you believe, you already knew it was real. For one, you didn't believe it was real, and you're about to believe it's real. So actually, I feel situation two could go either way. You either already believed it was real, or you didn't believe it was real, and you're about to see it out in the 3D, and you're going to be like, oh my God, yes. Possibly for some. Um, you, only you know your story, not anybody else, so you have to plug it in how it resonates. But one of you guys for sure did not believe Black Magic existed in the past. One, uh, and you're about to believe it did, or believe it does, rather. And one, you did believe it existed, and you're about to see the manifestations of it actually take place out in the in your 3D universe. How that resonates and applies in one's life. You have the heart card that popped out very fiercely here. Heart, love, deep affection, and caring. 
Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. Mouse spirit, tend to the small things. Number 4, 40, 45, or 7 could be very significant numbers in one's life. 4, 40, 45, or 7. They could be possible ages of children of yours or somebody you're connected to, possible age of you or somebody you're connected to, possible lottery number, possible day birth number, possible green card number, possible jersey number, 4, 40, 45, or 7. You could be dealing with the earth sign. You've got double earth sign energy. For some of you guys, I feel you're strongly dealing with heavy earth sign energy, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. If you are, they could have Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgo in their seven rising, Venus, Ortho, Midham, or Jupiter charts. Um, for some, I strongly feel you're dealing with heavy earth sign energy, like two or two plus earth signs in your energetic space. Um, Taurus, Capricorn, or Virgos, possibly. Staff. You will be taken care of in difficult times, clouds, temporary problems, heart, love, deep affection and caring, flowers, happiness. Purity and happiness. Badger spirit, be fearless and bold. A particular Scorpio is about to make huge, huge, huge power play moves soon. Huge power play moves. Some about to fight for a person that some people thought you never would fight for. In a positive manner this time, not behind the scenes. And no lies. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. Um, Scorpio, okay. So go in all for it if this resonates for you. Um, I heard you're about to, one of you guys is about to fight for someone. I heard um, that many people thought you would never fight for. And it sounds like, I heard it's not behind the scenes. It's not sneaky. It's not shysty. Um, it's, you know, and, and I heard no lies too. So there's no lies connected to the situation anymore. I think in the past there might have been lies connected here. Behind the scenes, trickery, dirty, sneaky shit. But basically, you're not going to um, do that regarding this person anymore. It's going to be up front, um, to the point, in the forefront kind of energy, not sneaky, deceptive lies, behind the scenes, shysty shit. It's up front energy. Um, for some, it could be an earth sign you're about to fight for, or for some, it could be somebody else. But you're definitely going to be fearless and bold, whoever you're about to fight for, and how this applies. And for one, Scorpio, you're about to get betrayed in a huge, huge, huge way. Some by a co-worker you never thought you'd get betrayed by. Some, some serious complaint energy. You're going to really, really need to stand up for yourself. Okay, so you plug it in, how it resonates. If for one of you guys, you're about to get betrayed um, in a huge way. Some by a co-worker that you never thought you'd get betrayed by. And some by uh, some serious complaint energy. I heard you're going to need to stand up for yourself in a huge way. So in this situation, I feel it's to be fearless and bold by standing up for yourself um, with either the complaint energy. It sounds like it might be heavy complaint energy for some of you guys. And for some, um, the betrayal of the co-worker or co-workers maybe for some that you never thought would betray you. And it sounds like they're about to. Uh, but I just want to add people that betray you and do shicey, sneaky shit, um, to you behind the scenes. They do that for sneaky strategic reasons. They're probably threatened of you. And I'm just being for real. They're probably threatened of you. Why else would they do it behind the scenes besides to your face? They're probably threatened to your ass. And I'm just being for real. If somebody needs to hear that. Mouth spirit tend to, tend to the small things. Appointments overdue for some. For some, bills that need to be paid. Okay, I heard appointments overdue for some and for some bills that need to be paid. So for some of you guys, there's some kind of appointments that are overdue. It sounds like they need to be tended to, um, taken care of, went to, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It could be your appointments or somebody you're connected to's appointments. 
um, for some bills that need to be paid. So tending to the small things, maybe they're small bills and they're adding up. Maybe it uh, was one appointment and now it's 10 appointments. I mean, it could be your appointments or somebody you're connected to's appointments. I feel for some of you might have kids. Um, or maybe it's animals that need to be taken to appointments or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But some kind of appointment and bill energy. I think they might be small bills because um, we have 10 to the small things. But you plug it in how it resonates. Staff, you will be taken care of in difficult times. A significant nest egg of inheritance is about to be put away. And a Scorpio is about to do the right thing and return money, stolen money. Okay, I heard a significant inheritance, nest, nest egg um, inheritance is about to be put, put away. And a Scorpio is about to return um, stolen money. So um, I think you will be taken care of in difficult times as this nest, nest egg of inheritance. Um, it sounds like you've already received this or you're about to receive it. And for some, you have stolen money and I heard you're about to do the right thing and return it. So you plug it in how it resonates. Clouds, temporary problems. A particular Scorpio is about to have huge, huge, huge work issues. Huge. People are about to come at you from all over the place soon demanding to know some answers okay whoa so you plug it in how it resonates so severe work issues here if this resonates for you it sounds like you're about to have people coming like all over from all directions in workplace environment here Demanding to know some kind of answers about person, people, place, family, situation, etc. Um, that could be the temporary problems on some kind of answers of something in regarding your workplace. It doesn't sound like it's one person. It sounds like it's going to be a lot of people. It might be about the same thing. It might be about different thing. You plug it in how it resonates. A particular notice that's about to be sent home from a daycare center is about to become very significant in a Scorpio's life. Some regarding your child, some regarding your grandchild, some regarding a child connected to you. I heard a particular notice um, about to be sent home soon from a daycare center is about to become very significant to a Scorpio. Uh, for some of you guys, it's regarding a child your child some your grandchild some a child connected to you so some kind of notice that could be a temporary problem so it sounds like it might be a negative notice in some shape form or fashion um sent home with a child from daycare for some it could be fees that need to be paid with the fee um the bill energy for some it could be maybe disciplinary or um or if it's not disciplinary which the child or children at the daycare it could be some other kind of issue um and they're notifying you in some shape form or fashion for some i feel it could be not paying the bill possibly heart love deep affection and caring a particular scorpio's feelings really 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 run deep they really miss the miss oh miss miss i heard miss miss Miss, miss the hell out of somebody. Miss them so bad. They're trying very, very, very hard to cope with this. Several shocking series of chain events will occur soon. Communication might open up soon. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates, Scorpio. 
So um, you really, really miss somebody if this resonates for you. You really miss them and miss them bad. I mean, miss, miss, that's double confirmation in here. You double miss them, whoever this person is um, and how they apply in your life. Um, but I've heard several, uh, they're not in your life now. They're not in your energetic space now. They are not near you, I feel, period, point blank. They are not near you if this resonates for you, but you definitely care for them. Uh, for some, it could be romantically, some it could be platonically, but you definitely miss them, double miss them, and you care for them in some shape, form, or fashion. But how that resonates, the communication is not there. They're not around in your energetic space. It sounds like you want them to be, but somehow there's some kind of blockage there. But I heard um, several shocking series of shame events are going to occur soon, and the communication might occur soon. So it sounds like the blockages might be lifted or, or something of that nature. How that resonates. I don't know if you're going to take action to remove these blockages or somebody else is or how that resonates. Moving is going to come, become very significant in Scorpio's life soon. Moving physical locations. Okay. Her moving is going to become very significant in a particular Scorpio's life soon, moving physical locations. So I think um, you found a location you really, really want to move to. You have um, love for this location. Um, you really love the, the style, the, um, the amenities, the, um, Maybe it's a mountainous area. Maybe it's a beach area. Maybe um, you love the location. Maybe you love the people. Maybe you love um, everything about it, possibly, hopefully, at least. Um, so much so you're going to move there if this resonates for you. And that's physical locations if that resonates for you. Flowers, happiness. A particular Scorpio has been so much happier since they have blocked a particular Libra out of their life. And they're going to continue to be happy. For some, it's a Libra. For some, it's a Leo. For some, it's a Capricorn. For some, it's a Virgo. Keep doing you, honey boo boo. Oh, wow. So you plug it in how it resonates. So blocking energy here um, for some of you guys. You, it sounds like you have taken the action already in the energetic space to block these person or people. For some, it's a Leo. Some, it's a Libra. Some, it's a Cap. Some, it's a Virgo. It sounds like you've already done this. You did this, Scorpio. They could have Leo, Libra, Caps, or Virgo in their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or Thumb, and Hammer, Jupiter charts. Masculine or feminine energies. You have to plug them in how they resonate in your own life. But how that resonates, you could have blocked one person, two plus people, or how that resonates in one slide. If this message applies for you. But however it applies, it's made you very happy. It's given you, I think, a lot of peace, love, self-love in yourself. And you have really um, been fearless and bold by blocking them, is what I feel. I heard you're going to continue to be happy by having these people out of your life, basically. It sounds like they were energy succubuses, and um, they drug you down. It sounds like they drug your ass down. Um, they didn't lift you up, they drug you down. And who the hell wants anybody around them that drew energy sucks off them and steals from them either energy time or money nobody nobody and that's just the damn truth for one scorpio they completely want to block a pisces out of their life through many series of chain of events it might happen very soon through the legal system this person is in some dark shit and you know it Oh my Lord. And for one of you guys, you want to block a Pisces out of your life, I heard. Um, but through many series of chain of events, I heard it might happen because this person is into some dark shit and you know it. So I think they might be into dark arts, ma uh, dark magic or, um, or drugs or addictions or something of that nature. Um, and you don't want to be around it. Um, for some, you could have 
participated in that kind of behavior in the past that you moved on past that possibly. But it's giving you happiness to block these negative energies out of your life and it'll give you happiness to block this Pisces out of your life. For some, I feel it could be baby mama or a baby daddy or a spouse or a separated spouse or a um, ex-partner. I feel they might have child or children with you and that's why you can't block them out of your life so easy. Trust me, I know I have an ex-husband and if I could block him out in a New York minute, I freaking would. And that's just the truth, but I love my kids too much. That's the truth. So you plug it in how it resonates. Purity. A significant pregnancy test has been very, very, very significant. Paternity test. Pater pater pregnancy test and paternity test. A particular feminine energy was trying to claim a Scorpio was the father, and it turns out you are not the father. For one, you're about to find out you are not the father. Oh, my Lord. <laughs> wow. Well, congrats to whoever that's for. You're not the daddy if that resonates for you. Uh, one of you guys, um, it's a pregnancy test. One is paternity test. For one, it's both. Sorry. But how that resonates, one, you've already found out you're not the daddy. You're a masculine Scorpio if this resonates for you. You're not the daddy. For one, you've already found out. For another, you're about to find out through the paternity test. You're not the daddy. It's going to make you very, very, very happy. Very freaking happy. There's been a lot of chaos surrounding this. A lot. For some, it was two plus people claiming... Um, this Scorpio masculine was the father. Oh, my Lord. Woo, shit, Scorpio. You got yourself into some shit. Ooh. So for some of you guys, you've already found out you're not the daddy, basically. Do paternity test already in energetic space. You're happy. You're happy about it. And you love the results, basically. For some of you guys, you're about to find out you're not the daddy. For some, one paternity test. For, for some, two plus. So, one of you guys has been busy bee sexually. Just saying. But you're about to find out you're not the daddy. Some two plus freaking paternity test. So, I mean, you have been super strong slayer out there. I just hope you wrap it up. You wrap it up next time or you choose not to do those kind of things with these people because this is what produces it when you do. I'm just saying, just saying. Well, food for thought if anybody needs to hear that. So in this aspect, the purity is the paternity testing and the uh, pregnancy testing and the baby energy, um, basically. Um, but a lot of you're not the daddy energies, Scorpio masculines, if this resonates for you. Holy crap. And that could be the 10 to the small things too, the paternity testing as well. A particular Scorpio is about to buy a feminine energy, a very lux lux luxurious gown. They know they this person really wants this gown, but they know they don't have the money for it and they don't want to spend the money for it. They're about to purchase it for them and send it to their home. And then other positive series of chain of events will occur after that. It's a very beautiful ball gown. Holy shit, Scorpio. Damn, this is a great one. So you plug it in how it resonates. So one of you guys, um, you know a femme energy. I feel you could be masculine or femme. Whoever you are and how this applies. But you know a femme energy really wants, I heard a very lux luxurious um, ball gown. I heard a ball gown. And I heard it's beautiful. It's a beautiful gown. So, however, you know this feminine energy wants this luxur luxurious ball gown. But I heard you know she hasn't purchased it because you know she don't have the money and she don't want to spend the money on it. So, I think it is um, expensive. Um, I think it's expensive or fairly expensive. How that resonates. But you know she hasn't bought it. You know she wants it. Somehow you know she wants it. 
however you know she wants it i don't know only you know your story not anybody else but you definitely know she wants it and you know she hasn't bought it and you know it's the bomb.com you know it's beautiful so somehow you've seen it i heard you're about to purchase it for her and you're about to send it to her home and it sounds like once she receives it many positive series of chain events will occur from that situation so whatever the positive series of chain events are um maybe she finds a place to wear it or maybe she tries it on and she takes pictures and posts it on social media i mean i don't know um, or maybe you invite her out to a um regal event or a event like a fundraising gala or some kind of gala or significant luxurious event that would um have the, one wear that very luxurious ball gown how that resonates purity in this aspect is the beautiful ball gown energy is what i'm presuming here i think it's going to make you very happy to buy her um i think you care for her i think you care for her for some you might romantically be interested in her and um i think it's gonna make you very happy to um hold on I think it's going to make you very happy to buy her this um, ball gown is what I'm feeling here. I think the purity is the luxurious ball gown energy. You care for her uh, so much so you want to buy her this very nice expensive ball gown and uh, it's going to make you happy uh, when she tries it on or wears it to an event. Maybe you invite, for some of you, you might invite her to an event where this ball gown will be worn is what I'm feeling. I feel a little Cinderella energy here. I didn't hear any of that, but I feel like a little Cinderella, Cinderella. Just saying, just saying. Whether you're romantically interested in her or platonically interested, I mean, however that resonates in one's life. But you definitely care enough to buy, I mean, you have the money enough to buy this ball gown. And it is doesn't sound like it's cheap. I'm just saying. Happiness. You got, ha oh, you got happiness times too, man. I just realized that. And thank God, because this reading is a lot better than Scorpio's last reading. I just want to say, Scorpio's last reading was rough as hell. A particular Scorpio realizes now that a particular feminine reader was really trying to warn them in the past of situations in their life but they didn't they chose not to listen but now they are listening they're definitely listening and it's really been benefiting them wow this is beautiful scorpio so you plug it in how it resonates so one of you guys you've been um it sounds like you have been um attached to a thin reader it sounds like you've been like a sub of hers if she does a public platform or you've been following her or you've been obtaining her services in some shape form or fashion it sounds like for a while but i heard she's been trying to warn you for a while um so you've been uh, following her or listening to her or obtaining her services or something for a while for a while but i heard she's been trying to warn you for a while of certain you realize now she's been trying to warn you for a while of certain things in your life um but I heard you chose not to listen. You chose not to listen. But I heard now you're listening. And it's really benefiting you. So I think it's getting, giving you great happiness because you've really been heeding the warnings, listening to the messages, if they apply to you, obviously. And um, and it's been great being, bringing you great happiness because I think it's been improving your life because you actually have been listening to the, uh, to the messages, to the spirit warnings, to the readings, what have you. It's a feminine tarot card reader whoever this person is in the universe and however she applies to you, Scorpio. But I think it's been giving you great happiness because you, you're actually listening now. You heard you didn't listen in the past. You're listening now. And it's, I think the fruits of your labor is um, with you listening and taking the advice or heeding the warnings or et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. It's been helping you in the universe progress and elevate. Um, not dragging you down i mean who the hell wants a reader that drags them down but you know some people would argue that about me that i deliver the horrible messages on here 
Um, but it's not that I want to deliver horrible messages on here. It's whatever I'm pulling in for the spiritual realm. It's whatever you guys are doing in the damn fuck shit in the damn energetic space. I can't help y'all doing fuck shit. And that's just truth. Of course, you, you know, you only, you know, if you're high vibrational or low vibrational, if you're doing fuck shit or not. So, of course, that's why you have to plug yourself into the situations. Are you doing the fuck shit or are you not doing the fuck shit? And that's just the truth. But one of you guys was doing fuck shit in the past. You just really were. And she was trying to warn you, whether it's me or somebody else, she was trying to warn you about the fuck shit and the shit going on. But you didn't want to listen. But now you're listening and it's bringing you happiness if this resonates. It sounds like a lot of it because we have double confirmation for happiness. A particular Scorpio is about to get a huge fire under their eyes. They're about to reveal some serious information on a Gemini masculine. Serious. It is about to shake things up in the energetic space and create many, 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 many negative series of shame events for the Gemini masculine. It's going to bring this Scorpio great happiness because they know the pain and misery this Gemini masculine has brought an earth angel feminine energy. Holy crap. Okay, Scorpio. So you go with your bad self. This resonates for you. Strong energy in here tonight. I love Scorpionic energy. When it's not manifested and honed in some crazy ass demonic um, way. Uh, when Scorpionic energy is honed in a positive, copacetic way. It's strong, beautiful, beautiful, strong energy. But when it's in a, a de black magic, demonic, evil ass kind of way, it's scary as fuck. And um, it's 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 crazy. It's crazy as fuck too. Fuck shit. Just saying. Um, but any of you Scorpios know that. You know that. Um, it's how you hold your own energy. You know this. But if this resonates for you, you're dealing with this uh, Gemini masculine. They could have Gemini in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, or them in Henry Jupiter charts. If this resonates for you, Scorps. But I heard basically you were um, about to reveal some deep, dark, dooku information on the Gemini masculine. I mean, it's some deep ass information. Whoever you're going to reveal it to, I don't know. Only you know your story, not anybody else. But it sounds like somebody can help with this shit and create a series of chain events. To, um, I don't know if he's a criminal or not. I don't know. You, only you know that, not, not anybody else. But you know something deep, dark, dooku on him. Whatever the hell it is. It could be one thing, two plus things. I don't know. It's going to be very effective. Know this. Very effective. Okay, I heard it's going to be very effective. Know this. So whatever you know on him is going to be very effective. You know some deep, dark, dooku information there, um, Scorpio masculine. Um, I'm not Scorpio masculine. Ooh, why did I say Scorpio masculine? It might be a Scorpio masculine for some of you guys. I didn't hear Scorpio masculine. I just said Scorpio masculine. For some of you guys, it might be a Scorpio masculine, but it's a Gemini masculine you're about to reveal the information on, if that resonates. But anyways, however that resonates, you're about to reveal it. Um, I heard it's going to um, create many negative series of chain events for him. Whatever it is, it's very deep, dark, and dooku. He might be a black magic wielder, possibly. He might um, he might be a criminal. Um, I, I feel dark, deep, dooku energy here. But it's about to bring you great happiness to reveal this shit. I'll tell you that. Double happiness is what I'm feeling. Serious criminal. Serious. Some is re related to pedophile ring activity. Some invasion of privacy on an ex. Hidden camera energy of the past. Okay, I heard um, some it's uh, some theft. Some theft. Some it's theft. Some it's um, invasion of privacy of an ex of the past. And some it is um, pedophile ring energy. So you plug it in, how it resonates, whatever you know there, a Scorpio masculine, and you're about to reveal. There's three different situations. Some it's a pedophile ring energy on this Gemini masculine. Some it's theft. Some it's hidden camera energy of the past on an X. So it's going to bring you great happiness. I think happiness times two to reveal this information, if this resonates for you. And however this applies in one slide. All right, let me see if I hear anything else. A particular Scorpio is about to find out about an assault of someone they truly care about in a workplace soon. 
It's about to light a huge fire under their ass, and they're about to start creating many negative series of chain events for many people in this situation. Oh my God, you plug it in, how it resonates, Scorpio. Damn, somebody's got a, about to get a huge fire under their ass. But this is positive energy. I mean, in a honed in, honed in a positive manifestory kind of way, if you choose to do so. And it sounds like whoever these are for, you're going to. So um, you're a Scorpio, and you're about to find out about a femme energy you care about. So this aspect, you care about this femme energy. Um, I heard she was assaulted in her workplace recently, and you're about to find out about this. Um, and I heard once you find out about this assault of this feminine energy in her workplace, it doesn't sound like you work with her or you work directly with her. For some, you could, but for some, I feel you don't directly work with her or you don't work on the same shift of her or the same unit of her, or the same work site or the same facility or et cetera, but you are about to find out about it. And I heard once you do, you're about to get a huge fire lit under your ass and you're about to create many negative series of chain events for many people that were involved in this situation. So um, you care for this feminine energy and it's going to bring you happiness to basically, um, I think you're going to expose these assholes is exactly what I think. Some are going to expose them through a compliance hotline. Some are just going to create other negative series of chain events for them other, otherwise. Okay, I heard some, so some of you guys are going to expose them through a compliance hotline is what I heard. So you are going to expose them through a compliance hotline. We've been pulling in a lot of compliance hotline energy in here recently. Now, compliance hotline is usually a uh, number is set up through a corporate entity agency energy where you can call in and confidentiality and in, in confidentiality report what you want to report. It's supposed to protect against whistleblowing and um, fear of retaliation and like workplaces and corporate entities and things like that um, is what the compliance hotlines are for. Um, so one of you guys is about to use the compliance hotline. One, you're going to create other series of cha negative chain of events for them otherwise. So however, you're going to create the negative series of chain of events for these assholes otherwise. But it sounds like they were involved in helping cover up cover up the assault, but it is coming out whether they want it to or not. They were involved in helping cover up the assault, but it's about to come out whether they want it to or not. So the assault of the feminine energy that you care about is about, is it's, I heard it's um, coming out anyways. They were involved in trying to cover it up, but it's coming out anyways. So for some, you're going to use the compliance hotline and call in on this information, you know, for some, you're going to create other negative series of chain events for them. Otherwise, whatever they are and how they apply in your own life, Scorpio, only you know your story, not anybody else. All right. Well, I love you guys. I'm getting out of here. We're almost at 38 minutes. I love you guys so much. I really, truly hope this helped. And um, namaste.